Richard Southern joins us now and Richard, there may be some relief at the pumps coming soon as the price of oil took a tumble today. Hey, Erica, good to see you. Happy Monday. Indeed, oil was way down today. It tumbled for two reasons. Uh, the big one was that negotiations between Russia and Ukraine appear to become a bit more substantial. Uh, uh, substantial. Of course, oil has gone way up amid this conflict in Ukraine. Today, it fell 5.8%, down to $103.01 one the barrel. The other factor pressuring oil was China, which imposed a, a big lockdown there amid a renewed surge in COVID-19. China is the world's largest importer of oil. It has locked down 17 million people there because of COVID. Price of gas not changing in Toronto tonight. However, we're expecting a drop of four cents on Wednesday, which will bring the average down to around $1.70. So no change for gas tonight. Possible four cent drop on Wednesday as oil moderates, Erica. All right, and for those thinking of traveling, you might have to pay a lot more for your next flight as rising fuel costs are expected to make airline tickets more expensive. Well, that's right. I mean, although oil was down today, it's still up from where it was two or three weeks ago. And that's not good for the airlines. One of their biggest uh, costs is the, uh, the the cost of fuel. And uh, they're likely to pass that higher cost on to consumers. Air Canada was asked about this and I well, didn't give any specifics. It said, you know, ticket pricing is dynamic. Fares can change frequently, Air Canada said. WestJet says it hasn't yet increased fares because of surging oil prices. Uh, a spokesperson for WestJet uh, stressed that uh, demand is the key factor driving prices higher. You know, Canadians are starting to travel more. Transat uh, said that uh, reservations are ramping up on track to hit 90% of pre-pandemic levels. So basically, Experts are saying we could see airfares go up, uh, but the airlines are keeping the cards close to their chest, Erica. We're going to have to wait and see in the next month or two if prices actually do go up. Okay, and meanwhile, Loblaws has announced a huge merger as the company forges into the healthcare space, Richard. Absolutely, and this really uh, has a lot to do with the fact that Loblaws owns Shoppers Drug Mart, which they bought back in 2014. So what Loblaws and Shoppers are doing is they're buying a chain of uh, health clinics called LifeMark. They're paying $845 million for this. Uh, LifeMark offers a range of services from physiotherapy to mental health. Uh, Loblaws has been, you know, uh, using acquisitions like this uh, to try and boost business at Shoppers Drug Mart. In a statement, uh, the company said uh, shoppers will now be able to provide a, a range of physiotherapy and, and massage and chiropractic services. Loblaws stock was marginally higher on Bay Street, where the TSX today was down more than 200 points, Erica. All right. Thanks, Richard. That's business editor Richard Southern. Thank you.